So how do you add an AI power chatbot into your application um, in a very short time? So um, we have ChatGPT, we have OpenAI that are giving us the functionalities to build chatbots. But, you know, building these things are not always, you know, as easy as it looks. I have um, some tutorials already on how you can build your own chatbot. But some of these things take time. This video will show you the shortest way you can add a chatbot to your React application. This will happen in a matter of minutes if you follow through. We'll be using this new package, Everplenty slash chatbot. So it's a React chatbot package it works both in react and um, in next years i'll be making another video for next years but for this we are focusing on react so um all we need to do is to follow the instruction here install um this dependency um with npmi or install we will get our um api key from open ai slash api keys i already have mine so you can navigate over there and get your own copy it and put it in a dot env file i have already done this and then we'll, we'll then reference it in our code and then we will now finally copy this code and replace our API key with um, the right value for our application. We'll show how to use both of them, of course, and we'll see how all of them works. All right. So let's um, let me go back to my application here. Um, I already have my React application set up and it's already running locally. I have removed some stylings that are not necessary because some of these stylings um, affect the way the chatbot will look. Um, let me put back the styling. And then let's work with the styling first before I'll show you what you should do in order for the styling to be perfect for, for you. So the first thing we need to do is to install this dependency. So we just copy this and then let's come down here, open the new terminal, paste it and install the, the dependency. It should install in a matter of seconds and that is done. So the next step, of course, I told you I've done this. So please get your API key from OpenAI and then put it in a .env file. I have already done that. I have my .env file set up. So let's just copy, let's copy this line of code and paste it in here. So the first thing we need to do is make sure we import basic chat from a very plain slash chatbot and you can see it there. So we hit enter. And then the other thing is to reference our API key. And so for us to reference, we do import. I am using Vit React. So the way we do it is by Vit, sorry, import.meta.env. Now dot the reference or the name we gave to um to our api key at um what's the name in our dot env file so i'll just go over there and copy the name so here's the name so we'll copy it and let's come back to um our app.jsx file then paste it in here like this we now have the chatbot added for us and surprisingly is that easy so save it come back here and you notice let me get this off now you notice that we we initially had a blank page but now we now have some sort of chat interface so the first thing we want to do is say hello so we say hello hit enter once we hit enter you see it tells us hello how can i assist you today now well we can we can say generate um duplex image in 3d for us and see what it tells us so i'm sorry but as an as a text-based ai i'm unable to you know blah 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 and that is it but how about if we want to customize this chatbot to even look more slick um to answer us based on a particular topic or something like that now there is a second sample here that i want to copy so this gives us the ability to add what we call props um so sorry uh, let's put this in the right position so let's put it inside of this all right and then let's replace let's replace the api key like so just replace this paste it in and then we'll get rid of this all right now what are we doing here now we have access to three props so the first one of course we've used is the open ai api key the second one is the chat title the chat title will now be the heading that we'll see in this black blank screen that is black here and then the system prompt is what we are telling the ai to act like so we are telling the ai that hey your name is Ebere and you are a wildlife expert the only thing you talk about is on wildlife related topics always begin a discussion by introducing yourself so let's see how it behaves so we save this we refresh our page and now we have wildlife chat which is this title we have here now let's say hello to it so hello hit enter and then it's typing now it's done typing i'm telling another hey hello i am a bearer a wildlife expert i have a passion for all things related to natural world and love sharing knowledge about you know the blah 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 now this is just coming from the prompt that we've given it all right now you notice that um there's much padding much um will i say margin and all that stuff now it's coming from 
this index.css file because the styling here affected. So the, we want to get rid of all the styling here and save it. So we got rid of all the styling aside from that of the root, save it. Now you notice that as soon as we save it, it shrinks back to what it's supposed to look like. Now you could choose to go an extra length just to make sure that um, maybe fits into what you're doing. So you can choose to get rid of all the margin and stuff for every element. So we just do a margin um, zero. Now these are not necessary, but it's just to show you how far you can go uh, by styling this stuff. So you see, as soon as we give it a margin zero, everything goes back to um, the edges. And so there, there are no longer paddings or margin by the side. And that is it. This is how you really um, uh, add um, chatbots that are AI powered to your React applications. Remember that I can change this, so you can choose to play with this. For example, I can say, um, my name is Njoko. Um, oh, sorry, your name is Njoko. You are an interior design expert, interior design expert. Um, the only thing you talk about is interior design related topics. Remember that it doesn't have to follow this pattern of prompt. So um, what I'm just doing here is just make a little change so I see that um, it works. So let's do a hello this time around and see what it tells us. Hello, I am Anjoko, an interior design expert. It's a pleasure to meet you. How can I assist you today with interior design related questions or topics? Man, that is it. And you notice that we did this in a very short time. You can do this even in a shorter time um, than I've done so. So um, all you need to do is head to the this NPM package, um, which I'll add to the description. Uh, it has um, the whole documentation you really need down to the dependencies and all of that. You can check out the author here and then um, connect. Um, what else can you do? Uh, basically, you can, you can play around this and see um, what you come up with. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.